Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Innocent Redeemer, November 5. Which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? John 8:46. From the fall of Jerusalem, the thoughts of Jesus passed to a wider judgment. In the destruction of the impenitent city, he saw a symbol of the final destruction to come upon the world. He said, Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? By the green tree, Jesus represented himself, the innocent Redeemer. God suffered his wrath against transgression to fall on his beloved son. Jesus was to be crucified for the sins of humanity. What suffering then would the sinner bear who continued in sin? All the impenitent and unbelieving would know a sorrow and misery that language would fail to express. Of the multitude that followed the Savior to Calvary, many had attended him with joyful hosannas and the waving of palm branches as he rode triumphantly into Jerusalem. But not a few who had then shouted his praise, because it was popular to do so, now swelled with the cry of, Crucify him! Crucify him! When Christ rode into Jerusalem, the hopes of the disciples had been raised to the highest pitch. They had pressed close about their master, feeling that it was a high honour to be connected with him. Now, in his humiliation, they followed him at a distance. They were filled with grief and bowed down with disappointed hopes. How were the words of Jesus verified? All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Matthew 26, 31 Arriving at the place of execution, the prisoners were bound to the instruments of torture. The two thieves wrestled with the hands of those who placed them on the cross. But Jesus made no resistance. The mother of Jesus, supported by John, the beloved disciple, had followed the steps of her son to Calvary. She had seen him fainting under the burden of the cross and had longed to place a supporting hand beneath his wounded head and to bathe that brow which had once been pillowed upon her bosom. But she was not permitted this mournful privilege. With the disciples, she still cherished the hope that Jesus would manifest his power and deliver himself from his enemies. Again, her heart would sink as she recalled the words in which he had foretold the very scenes that were then taking place. Further reflection. How do I treat those I love when they hurt me? 